G'day everybody, we are down the Coorong, the national park, southeast of South Australia where there's lots of birds, can't see many here now but there have been, and I thought we'd do a water biblical story from Matthew, 20, uh, Matthew 14 verse 22, where Jesus walks on the water. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and to go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After he had dismissed them, he went up onto a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night he was there alone and the boat was already a considerable distance from land buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. You need faith all the way. No doubts, just pure faith. And how pleased Jesus, uh, Peter was that Jesus was there to reach out and grab him. Oh, wow, that's a story and a half. But it teaches us something about faith. You need to have faith and have no doubt in your mind because doubt and fear will get you down and drag you under. So there are a little message from today, from the Kurong. Get into the Word. And let the Word of God get into you. Let the Word get into you. See you later now. Bye. Bye.